Now once the heap dump is captured, once you open the Eclipse memory analyzer, it will look like this. Then you go to the file option, then click on open heap dump and then you can select the heap dump that has been created. Click on open. Now heap dump is imported here. You can select this option and click on finish. Now you can observe here leak suspect. This leak suspect automatically detects the potential memory leaks. If you just come down here, you can observe here keeps the local variable. It is consuming a 99.6 percentage of memory and it is also giving a out of memory error here in the array list test.java here it is giving a line number 11 which is in the code our line number 11 is this much this is the it is suggesting this is the line which is creating the out of memory issue that is consuming most of the memory here you can observe here right by looking at this you can draw inference that if one object is consuming more than 99 percentage then this is the object possibly causing a memory leak if you click here see track trace with involved local variables you can get various details here related to the class you can observe here this is the line number it is showing here right how much heap is retained here you can observe here right and it is telling this is the java.util.array list this array list is causing the out of memory error here in the overview page as well you have an option to go to the leak suspects if you click here see stack trace with involved local variables you can find what are the variables which are involved it is here clearly giving java.util.array list which is causing the out of memory issue right and this is the line number out of memory which is causing cost then this is the line number which is causing java test.java11 right this is causing the out of memory issue you can draw certain conclusion by looking at these things like if a single object or a collection like a array list holds an excessive memory it may be a leak and verify if the objects are unnecessarily retained let us understand leak suspect with a real life example imagine a hotel where guests check in and check out every day and the cleaning staff cleans the room whenever the guest leaves and ensures that room is clean and made available for the next guest but imagine this scenario where guest checks into the room but never checks out the room remains occupied forever even though guest is not using the room guest is not giving back the locker of the room back to the receptionist if the guests who check into the hotel never check out then entire hotel will be occupied there is no place for the incoming guest this is exactly what happens in memory leak in java application objects should be removed from the memory when no longer needed but due to unintentional reference the garbage collector cannot clean them up over a time memory fills up and leads to out of memory error just like hotel is running out of room the leak suspect report in eclipse mat is like a hotel manager who identifies who are still occupying the room even though they should not be occupying at this moment right similarly leak suspect will identify the objects occupying the memory even though they should not be occupying the memory at this point of time right in this way the leak suspect will help to identify the objects which are occupying the memory and never garbage collected